This is a short video covering a somewhat common spatial reference projection issue within QGIS. And the scenario here is when you put in a feature into your layers panel within QGIS, um, it doesn't read in the projection system correctly. So if you look at the layers panel here, you can see that this thing called GeoExport, which is the five boroughs of New York City, um, it doesn't have a projection system that QGIS understands. So this layer has no coordinate reference system set. Now this is confusing because it, this particular file actually ships with a PRJ file, meaning if I go to the folder itself and look at this in a notepad, I can see that I actually have a well-known text expression of this thing, of the projection file, that's stating that it's WGS 84, it's in decimal degrees, and um, here's all its unit of degree, et cetera. So QGIS should be able to read that in and be able to project that correctly, uh, but it's having problems because it's showing us that it has a little question mark here. Now this becomes significant when we want to change the projection on the fly for the data frame itself. So here, let's send it to World Robinson. So if I send it to World Robinson and apply it, all of a sudden it disappears because the original coordinate system, the original projection file, it can't understand what it should be. So with a little bit of research, uh, let's take a look. This is where the file came from, which is New York City Open Data. And there's two expressions here. If I'm downloading uh, things from New York City Open Data that are spatial, I have the original file, which is in the shapefile format. That is what the city of New York utilizes, and that is in the New York State Plane Coordinate System. I also have the shapefile and GeoJSON expression. If I click on the shapefile and download it, it's going to give me the file that I'm looking at right now, which is this GeoExport. So to solve this problem, to get around this problem, it's not terribly difficult. We need to do a little bit of research. And if we do that research, we're going to find out that this particular projection is known. This is 7305, but Q just doesn't seem to recognize it. So what do we do? We know that this thing is WGS84. Its data is WGS84. So we're going to simply set this system. And the way that we do that is we go down to, um, down to set CRS, and we're going to set the layer ourselves, set layer CRS. And we know that this thing should be in WGS84. Okay, why is it not finding it? Let's see. Okay, I have it here. Okay, it's 4326. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, okay. And as soon as I do that, of course, it gives me a strange appearance here. That's because I'm not in WGS84. So I'm just going to change this real quickly. There we go. So here, my data frames within uh, 4326, my feature, I just changed the projection. So I went to set CRS, set layer CRS, and we set it to WGS4326. Uh, and now I can go ahead and export this now. So I'm just going to go ahead and export and save the feature. And I'm going to send it to the same folder. This was the borough boundaries. And this time I'm going to rename it. So I'll call it geo underscore export. And we'll call this um, WGS84. OK, so save and say OK. And then I have a file that works. Let's just check this to make sure that that's the case. So I'm going to make a new project, discard everything here. I'm going to bring this in now and see if I get any errors. So now I want my geo export as a shape file. Open that up, say edit. Close it. And now my warning is completely gone because now Q just understands what the coordinate system is. And then I can go ahead and change this now, this projection system on the fly if I want to. So say I want to go to New York State Plain for the New York City region, I can do that. I just say apply and say OK, OK, and we're all set. Okay, so that's how to solve that particular problem. If you do get these little warning uh, symbols that show up right to the right-hand side of the file in the layers panel, you can go ahead and apply what you know is the system that, that the file should be in.